Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today's kind of a special feast day. It's called the Feast of the Presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in some parts of the world, it's, it's a big feast day, and the blessing of candles is a big part of it. So if you want to pause the Mass and go and get a candle that you would like to be blessed, I'll give a blessing for the candles, and you can burn that in your house uh, to, rep, to celebrate this holy light of Christ coming into the world. Dear brothers and sisters, 40 days have passed since we celebrated the joyful feast of the Nativity of the Lord. Today is the blessed day when Jesus was presented in the temple by Mary and Joseph. Outwardly, he was fulfilling the law, but in reality, he was coming to meet his believing people. Prompted by the Holy Spirit, Simeon and Anna came to the temple. Enlightened by the same Spirit, they recognized the Lord and confessed Him with exultation. So let us also gather together by the Holy Spirit. Proceed to the house of God to encounter Christ. There we shall find Him and recognize Him in the breaking of the bread until He comes again revealed in glory. And now let's bless those candles. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all light, who on this day showed to the just man Simeon the light for revelation to the Gentiles, we humbly ask that in answer to your people's prayers, you may be pleased to sanctify with your blessing these candles, so that, treading the path of virtue, we may reach that light which never fails, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now let us confess our sins uh, to God and ask for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace we may be presented to you with minds made pure, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand where he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lye. He will sit refining and purify silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in the years gone by, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is, Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lentils. Reach up, you ancient portals, and the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle? Who is this, this King of glory? glory. It, it is, is the, the Lord. Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lentils, reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who is, Who is this, this King, King of glory? glory? It, it is, is the Lord. Lord. Who is this King of glory, the Lord of hosts? He is the King of glory. Who is this, this King, King of glory? glory. It, it is, is the Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them, that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through their fear of death 
had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Look in our minds and our lips and in our hearts. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him in his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, may, your, may you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples a light for the revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town in Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A lot's in there on this feast day. Uh, of course, Jesus is revealed to the nations, to us, the light of the nations. But Simeon comes to the temple full of the Holy Spirit. Luke, more than any other gospel writer, and he wrote Luke and Acts, uh, just is fascinated by the Holy Spirit. In Luke, we have Pentecost, where the Spirit falls on everyone, and they all speak in tongues. Uh, Luke has the apostles going around and laying hands on different towns and different churches so that they too can receive the Holy Spirit. And they all speak in tongues and prophesy. And today we see that prophetic word, because in Luke, Jesus, is the great prophet and so prophecy abounds with our Lord Jesus Christ let us today be filled with that light be filled with that spirit and be filled with that prophetic life that Jesus calls all of us to that's our faith and what a wonderful faith we have and now let us offer our prayers for our church and for our world for our church Lord we pray that 40 days after Christmas uh, we may truly experience the light of Christ, which comes at Christmas and Epiphany, and we celebrate here at presentation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for our world, that they might see the light of Christ in us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for Holy Redeemer, we want you to uh, just be so much among us that people can feel your presence and your light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering in any way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those who have died, that they might uh, see your face. This day we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us pray. For those who grieve and for those who are struggling with their spirituality, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us pray. Lord, for those uh, intentions of every heart uh, watching this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us pray. And we bring all these prayers to you, our loving Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. someone bringing up the gifts today. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Thus be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Thus be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer, humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. And now pray, my sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, for you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation, and with angels and saints, praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew so, do fall, so that we may be, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks and praise, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, our Earl, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us, and as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gifts of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.